Ready? Yo. So today we're gonna be showing you guys the most effective way to quit cigarettes. The most effective? I think so. It's called a vape. <laughs> today we're gonna be checking out the Nevix Feelin' 2. Feelin' too good. Is this That's what I like two? to say? But it's actually it's called the Feelin' 2. We got one here too. not one, not two. But three. But three different vapes. And two of them are already filled up and ready to go for your guys' convenience. And this one's boxed up so you can see what's inside of it because it's probably pretty satisfying to watch me unbox these. Yeah, so while Isaiah's unboxing that one, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about the devices itself. So the Nevix Feelin' 2 is the seventh different uh, pod system by Nevix. Very good brand. The Feelin was their original pod system and now they're coming back to bring out a second upgraded version of it. Um, a couple things about the device. It is a 1100 milliamp battery in here. It comes with four different coils that you can use. There is a 0.4, there is a 0.6, there's a 0.8 and a 1.0. And I actually loaded up the 0.1 in this one, or the 1.0 in this one, sorry. I loaded up the 0.6 in the blue one, and then Isaiah is loading up the 0.4. So we're gonna get a little bit into the resistances later. Um, a couple more things to note is that the um, the pod itself, super easy to refill on the side here. It's a two milliliter pod, which is, you know, all you need. And there is some cool features on the battery here that we're gonna talk about in a minute, as well as there is a, oh, sorry, there's a type C USB charger on the side here. So you can keep it up, which is really good. I hate when they put it on the bottom. And there is a airflow indicator or airflow changer right here, which is so awesome. But anyways, um, I feel like the only way to do this is to start with the 1.0 and then work our way down. So when you first would get one of these devices, the first thing you want to do is power it on, of course. So that's going to be one, two, three clicks. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five clicks. And it's going to power on just like that. And this is a really cool feature about it that I was telling you guys about with the indicator is on the top here. It's going to be showing the battery level so it's going to be green if it's high battery it's going to be blue if it's a medium battery and it's going to be red if it's at low battery and then on the bottom is going to be a separate indicator that all forms into one and that's going to show what power level you want so red is going to be the lowest uh green being the highest so same kind of idea so i'm going to show you guys how to change that there it's going to be three clicks one two three and you're going to see there's the red that's the lowest one two three we got blue here one two three and we got full green so this is the 1.0 uh, coil so you're going to want to run that at the lowest wattage so i'm going to make sure that's on red and we're going to take the first hit here and let you guys know what we think of it first time hitting it first... she's full i don't even know what i'm saying <laughs> she's full but yeah um cheers everybody first time ever hitting the <clears throat> nevix feeling two i'm just going to prime this coil So with the 1.0 coil, that's going to be the most resistance. So you're going to get the tightest airflow. You're going to get the most, the most of the mouth to lung kind of hit off of this one. Um, it, you're going to get a stronger flavor out of it, but you're going to get less of a cloud. So what I is doing is a little hack here. When you fill up a brand new pod, you're usually going to want to wait five to 10 minutes minimum. Some people wait 15 or 20 minutes just to let all the juice saturate into the coil. But since Isaiah is fucking hitting it like that, basically what that do is doing is stimulating the coil so you can hit it a little bit quicker. For video purposes only, if you're gonna purchase a device like this, I would honestly just wait five to 10 minutes. I wouldn't suggest doing that. It's a good way to get a bunch of juice in your mouth sometimes. So yeah, give this one a try. Isaiah, let me know what your first thoughts are. I gotta say it's real nice. The flavor, what we got in there is the Savage strawberry kiwi and the flavor profile is coming out perfectly, dude. Oh, like it really tastes good. amazing. And I figured that if we're gonna use the red for that, we're gonna use the medium power setting for the 0.6. So I'm gonna set that up now. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Oh, I already had it turned on. I'm a fool. Okay, now it's turned back on. Here we go. One, two, three. 
And now we got set it to the medium setting, so let's give this a rip too. Which one's the, the blue one again? You see a little bit more cloud, Is that one? a little bit better airflow coming out, a little bit less flavor as well. Tell me, can't you notice that there's a little bit less flavor in that? Oh yeah. But it hits harder though. It does. You get a bit more of a throat hit. And mm -hmm. So it's a trade-off, right? And then, do you have the green one ready? Yes, I don't know which one, which one it is. But it's so this is the point four, guys. For me personally, I love the lowest almost possible because I, I'm a cloud chaser, you know? I want to get the biggest cloud, bro. And I feel like Isaiah's the exact same way. Cloud chaser. So I wanted to save that one till last. So Ooh. there we go. We got that max setting here. Let's see how fast we can hotbox this car a little bit, dude. So. Let's see if this, this coil's primed enough. It might not be primed enough, so there's always a chance. Which one did you put? Oh, dude, you definitely put this one in, hey? Yeah. So the other one we were using was a three milligram. This is an 18 milligram, so this one's actually gonna hit, dude. This is hitting, like as soon as I hit that, I was like, oh, that's the stronger one, dude. Ah, uh, put the, I didn't wanna do no weak sauce. Let's try this. Is it, is it primed good enough? Very good. And by the way, guys, this button, Look at this. I'll try to use the button to hit it. And it's going it's to work a, just fine. It's a lot stronger. If I try to use the button to hit this one. It'll also work just fine. But if I had left it a little bit longer, which I tried to do, I obviously failed. If I had left it a little bit longer, it will auto shut off the button. And that way it's going to prevent you from ever firing it in your pocket which is literally the most annoying thing in the world is when a vape fires in your pocket. I know it's happened to me plenty of times. I don't know if it's ever happened to you. Has it ever happened to you? Yeah, I burned sure my it leg has. once. You burned your leg. Not even just your coil, but your leg. Yeah, it was on for so So long. that auto shut off feature is amazing. And the way to re-enable it for the button to work again is all you have to do is take an auto draw, just like this. And it's always gonna hit off an auto draw. But this is mostly just a safety feature. And let's see if it hits a little bit harder when I click the button. Nope, just about the same. Ooh. But anyways, guys, I personally think that this is like the perfect little pod system for anyone that wants to start and they want something that's quality. It's shaped like a cigarette too. You know, you can puff it like this, which is kind of dope. And you got your coil options too. Having coil options is really nice. It's type C battery charger too, so... That yep. means that you can charge it in like 30 minutes and it's going to last you like up to two days and also one charge which who, is insane who doesn't got a type c laying around you know nobody i have many I like this one this is nice i also got i also want to tell you guys a little bit about something i think is fucking hilarious so um this morning um i signed up for this um king's king's court <laughs> style tournament um in pickleball <coughs> and i've never really played before but I've seen people play before and I know that it's like mostly like 55 plus, like there's a lot of like seniors that play. So like, obviously I'm like, dude, I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna whip them around. You know what I mean? It's gonna be easy. You got smurfed on. Lost every single fucking game, bro. I didn't even make it into the King's Court. I'm glad I didn't start in the King's Court, dude. Cause if I started in the King's Court, I would have just like- waiting. But instead I started in the fucking Jester's Court or whatever they called it at the very bottom. And that's where I stayed. Just... And every time somebody like lost their game and had to come into my court, they'd look at me and go, this fucking idiot, eh? He's back. And, dude, it was embarrassing as fuck. Even this one lady's like, yeah, you should really consider getting lessons. I'm like, no way, bro. You should really consider getting lessons. <laughs> yeah. Do you hear that, guys? He needs pickleball lessons. I know. Dude, who would have thought, dude? I thought it was just like big ping pong, dude. I thought it would be easy Smurf City, dude. Dude, it's, cause all, it's, dude, it's like badminton, but way too many freaking rules. Yeah, it, it is, dude. It's like, what, dude? Like, like I thought I got a point. He's like, dude, you're in the kitchen. And I'm like, what? The kitchen? What are you talking about, dude? Yeah, you're <laughs> like, like, where? I'm, I'm, on a, a, I'm on a court. It's like, what's the other part called? The pantry? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so confusing. Dude, isn't it? I don't know. It doesn't. was a lot of fun, though. Mm. It was honestly a lot of fun. It's just crazy just getting absolutely shit on by a bunch of old people. You'll be fun. Smart. Not to hate on old people or anything. Old people are awesome. They're honestly so nice about it. The, the lesson thing, you know, I'm oh. not actually upset about that. She's probably right. I probably should have done lessons. Speaking of badminton, though, it would definitely be fun to play that. Right? I actually like badminton. It's a lot of fun. Dude, badminton, they're even crazier, though, dude. They can whip that. You know it goes, like, top speeds over 100 miles per hour? Yeah, That's fucked. Like, 
How am I supposed to react to that, dude? You should be I need so to practice. Awesome. Like, I need to start playing Osu or something like that. You know that game Osu? Oh, my God. The reaction time <laughs> Yeah, game? I need to start playing like the that. plays all the songs. Okay. Yeah, dude. I got I got to freaking get my um, hand-eye coordination up to play badminton. Dude. That's pretty crazy for me. But. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on if you haven't yet. And um, don't think I forgot, guys. We got to do the community hit. So if you made it to this point and you didn't click off when I started doing the intro, you a real one. I want you to comment 1020 because that's how I know that you're a real fan and I appreciate the absolute fuck out of you. So I'm going to use this one here. I'm sure Isaiah's going to use that green one because he yeah. really likes it. And by the way, Isaiah... You can have that vape. It's all yours, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Of course. But yeah, cheers, everybody. Boop. Boop. <laughs> right? That's what you get for it for very long. It's 18 milligram. And that's not 18 milligram salt. Yeah, right? let me take... That's 18 milligram regular, so it's like way more harsh. Oh, I'm an absolute fiend, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, thanks again, guys. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. Peace. I tried to say it too fast, and I fucking stumbled that. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. Peace. <laughs>